Hello and welcome to a VR circuit guide for the Deutschland Ring by Fat Alfie. Uh, today we're going to be taking the Lotus 49 by Baza around this beautiful mountain course. Main straight here, going to be in fifth gear flat out for quite a long time. As we come past the stands here, there's going to be a driver's right hand corner over a bridge, turning in quite late when you get past this tree down towards the bollards, having to lift slightly in most of the Grand Prix Legends cars to make the corner lifting more and maybe even braking a little bit to get into the left-hander. Key for the banked right-hander after the first two corners is going to be using as little steering input as possible so that you don't scrub any speed off but staying as close to this white line as you can on exit to get a really really good launch. Braking between the first and second boards here. Down into third coming off and trail getting all the way down to where this road is. Picking up the throttle when you get to these bushes coming out. Staying in third gear around this double left. It's tighter at the second half of the double left than it is at the first half, so you got to be careful there. Grazing the wall a little bit on that lap on accident. And then third gear here for around the next left. Up fourth. You can almost stay flat for this right, and then you're going to break down third. Getting to the left and picking up full throttle when you clip the dirt. Up fourth going to stay flat for as long as possible here for this double right over the bridge. Trail braking for the first right, fading out, coming in for the second right and picking up throttle early over this patch of dark tarmac. And then left into the hairpin, picking up throttle when the noise of the car is pointed at the flagman's towers on the outside edge of the corner. Staying in second nice and tight here, picking up throttle when you get to the darker trees. Up fourth. Trying to stay on full throttle, but maybe breathing and lifting slightly at this compound double left. Up fifth for the right under the Bosch sign. I'm breaking right before the crest here. Down into second for the bridge. All the way down in. Staying in second and lifting for this left. And then trying to get straight to get into third gear before the hairpin. Breaking here in a straight line. Locking up the rears a little bit so we can get in. Picking up throttle early and riding the slide out of the corner. You're going to have to be getting wheel spin in the Lotus 49 out of a lot of these corners because the engine is very high side biased in terms of power in the RPM range. So the engine's not going to be on cam unless you map the throttle and intentionally get a little bit of wheel spin to build the rev range. And then for the final set of hairpins here, this one can be taken in first gear with a little bit of throttle application to keep the back sliding and the car making it around the corner. Up second, down first for the last hairpin. This one it's really important to take a super late apex and get a good launch out of because it sets you up for the third gear right-left-right combination at the end of the lap. Staying in third for the right. And for this left, avoiding the lamp post. Coming out, breathing towards the entry point, breathing back in towards apex. And staying in third gear to kind of use it like an artificial traction control to get onto the main straight. A good exit is important for the final end of the lap because you're going to be flat out for about a minute after the last corner. I hope that you were able to learn something today watching my track guide of the Deutschland Ring by Fan Alfie. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, if you'd like to race this car with us, I'm going to leave links to the THR GPL League where I race these cars every weekend for fun on Sundays at 2100 Universal Time Code. I hope that you have a good weekend. Have fun. Stay safe on the track.